Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela, and in today's video, I have a foundation first impression and review, and I'm gonna do a wear test for you guys today as well. So, let's get started. So the foundation that I'm gonna be demoing and reviewing today is the Becca Skin Love Wetless Blur Foundation. This is not a new foundation, but I haven't really seen or heard too many people talk about it and I was curious about it because the packaging is really, really cute. And I like Becca products, so let's give it a try. So to prime my face, I'm gonna use my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. As you can see, it is well loved. So I'm going to do this side of my face with the beauty blender and this side of my face with a brush and I'm still deciding should I set aside I don't normally set my foundations I guess I'll set the side with the brush okay so and by the way I'm using the shade bamboo and it says that it is infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Complex. Okay, and um, this foundation retails for $44, which, uh, that's expensive, but I didn't pay $44 for this. I got this when it was on sale um, from Ulta. I think it was like $32 or something like that but I've had this for a while, I've just been waiting to do a review on it. And um, I'm running on and it says that the, this is medium coverage, is for all skin types and the finish is natural. And it says that it's a weightless, medium buildable coverage foundation with a velvety natural finish that mi mimics the look of smooth, healthy skin. So we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna take a pump. Let's do the brush side first. Um, maybe just a touch warm, but that's just how it's looking right now. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but um, I'm using natural lighting and it's kind of um, cloudy outside today, so hopefully that's not affecting anything too much. This foundation smells good. It smells like um, coconut. Yeah, like a coconut. I'm just taking just a little bit more so I can add it to my forehead and the side of my nose. Now I'm taking a pump to do the beauty blender side. Okay, I'm just gonna take it down my neck. Okay. So this is the side with the beauty blender. And this is the side with the brush. Can you really tell much of a difference? For concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind. Okay, so, wait a minute, I feel like I'm crooked. All right, 
So I'm gonna set this side of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Okay, so I'm going to do my brows and the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. This is my finished look. I do need to set it with setting spray though. But other than that, this is the finished look and I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus, if you're wondering. Anyways, again, finished look. This is the side with the beauty blender that was not set. This is the side with the brush that was set using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. By the way, I'm sorry if you can hear the people outside blowing leaves. Yeah, not much I can do about that. But, um, it is 11.15 right now and I will check back in throughout the day and at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts and let you know how this wore on my face and just a reminder I have dry skin so yeah see you guys in a little bit okay guys so I'm back it is currently it is currently 4 13 And, um, this is what my face is looking like. This is the side that I set with powder. This side I did not. Okay. What I noticed pretty quickly was my smile line is a lot more prominent on this side than on this side okay and while we're in this general area it's pretty much disappeared from my chin You can see that, um, but I feel like everywhere else looks pretty okay. Also, side note, look at this liner. It's a no-no for me. I use the, it's an Essence liner. Mm -mm. But, um... Other than that, um, I guess it's okay. I do think that the side that was set with powder looks better. Um, hold on, let me test. Just taking some tissue, I'm just gonna. Okay, so it's not transferring as you can see. So I don't know where, I don't know where it went on my chin. So um, maybe I'll have to set this a little more um, when wearing this. <laughs> so um, that's it for my check-in and I will See you guys later on tonight whenever I get ready to take this makeup off. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day and this is what my face is looking like. So as you can see, the foundation is 
pretty much gone. So it's not the most long lasting, but um, I did really like the finish of it. So I'm gonna give it another chance and just really set it to see if that helps. And I will leave somewhere on the screen whether that helped or not, or um, if this foundation really just doesn't last very long and it needs to be mixed in with something else. But I'm just gonna give it another go tomorrow and um, I'll let you know here on the screen how it went. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I love making these videos and doing reviews and I wanna start incorporating them more into my channel. So just give me a thumbs up, let me know you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment also down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.